All right. Now, last video, we saw how we could able to debug. And this is something I told you that very, very handy while working with the wait mechanism. What I'm going to do is I'm actually want to uh, wait for the login button to appear and then perform a click operation if the login button is available. So for doing that, I'm just going to do an inspect over here. And let's probably do something like this. And instead of the type of submit, I'm just going to make this uh, type as maybe hidden. And you can see that once I do the hidden, that particular button is actually gone <laughs> from here, basically. So it's just disappeared or it's hidden, basically. Uh, and then we'll try to see if the login operation is going to be performed. Oops. For some reason, this is not going to be because I should be there. Yeah. And now I'm just going to put a breakpoint here. Or maybe I don't want to put a breakpoint. I can put a breakpoint in the employee list. And I'm going to just run that. And you can see that the code has been executed until the password. And now it is waiting for the login button to appear from this particular in this particular uh, DOM element. So you can see that the automatic waiting is now in action. So it's just waiting for the particular button to be appeared. So once I change the type of submit, it should perform a login operation, but for some reason it didn't because I actually made two changes, right? Test is, I just changed that particular text over here at the moment just now. So I'm probably gonna stop this. I just forgot because in our last lecture, we were trying to use this guy. So I'm just gonna just remove this, make it more better uh, instead of, you know, jeopardizing this particular text. So I'm just gonna run this in a preview mode right now. And let's see how it actually works, um, which is cool. I'm gonna debug this again. And you can see that it just clicked, which is pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a breakpoint in here next time. And I'm just gonna run in a preview mode. And now before clicking this, I'm gonna inspect this element. And I'm just going to remove this to hidden. You can see that the button has been gone. And now I'm just going to run this. And you can see that it's still waiting for the control to be clicked. And now if I change from hidden to probably submit. So once I do that, you can see that instantly it clicked the particular control. And then it is going to wait for the employee list to be clicked in the particular breakpoint, which is pretty cool, right? I mean, this proves the point that the automatic waiting mechanism of the playwright is already there in action and it is already working for us. I mean, we don't really have to explicitly tell that wait for this particular um, employee list to appear or something like that, but we can still do all those things over here. I mean, we can do something like a wait page dot and then there is something called as wait for a selector. And then we can tell that, uh, can you wait for this particular uh, text, like employee list to be appeared uh, before you perform the operation for me, like clicking the particular text box, you can do that as well. So if you just try to, oops, like that, if you try to run them, you can see that the particular wait is gonna be uh, gonna happen. I mean, you don't really notice that because automatic wait is already there in place and that's gonna be working for you in behalf of you. So you don't really have to worry about that, which is pretty cool. I mean, this is the way that you can actually use the wait for a select art to perform the operations and those things works pretty much as expected. And similarly, you can wait for uh, the navigation to happen, like wait for the DOM to be loaded, something like that. Uh, you can do that as well. So we just put a braces over here and then just put like something like wait until once you do that and once you put a colon and put a single quote you can see that the intelligence brings in and then it's going to tell you that whether wait for the dom content to be loaded or wait for the load event to be fully complete or the network idle to be complete something like that so once you select maybe the network idle which means all the network calls are going to be complete something like that so once you do that it is going to be waiting for the network call to be completed and then perform the operation and similarly you can also wait for 
uh, a text to be appeared on a page or in the DOM element and then uh, you can perform the rest of the operation something like that you can do that as well so for example if you just do a, a wait of page dot wait for function where you can actually write a function for the event to be happened this particular wait for function is going to be very helpful while you try to perform a wait for the windows inner text to be a certain size or something like that so those are something that you can do over here as well i mean you can do or maybe you can wait for a network call to be completed something like that you can write your own network call uh, wait and then you can see if that particular uh, network call is fully resolved uh, so i could probably see that this particular uh, code snippet from the documentation looks very very handy and i just wanted to show like how it actually works so you can just type a uh, script something like window dot inner text which is going to be less than uh, 100 or maybe greater than 100 because we are not going to be resolving on the mobile view at the moment so i'm just going to do this one and then i'm going to say a wait of the watchdog so this way it's going to wait for this particular watchdog to be fully resolved or something like that so if i just try to execute this code so anyways our code is going to be working but the inner oops sorry it's not inner text it's the inner width if I try to run that, you can see that actually for the inner text, if I just typed, it was actually not working. And once I do the inner width, it is actually working fine. I mean, basically, our inner width is always going to be greater than 100. It's not going to be less than 100 anyways. So you can see that it is working fine, which is pretty cool.